So, hello everyone, my name's Shiverkiller, and I want to give my thoughts as to the whole Tiles Hop EDM Rush game on iOS and Android. Now, the only video you've probably seen me upload was this one up here, Unity the Fat Red 622. Now, this took me a lot of tryharding to get because of some of the unintentional deaths that you can always get in this level after 375, I think. Because for whatever reason, the game does not have a good synchronization with the speed, so it kills you unintentionally. And as I'm scrolling through the list, you can kind of see my other scores, too. Now, this is going to kind of address some of the things that kind of kill Tiles Hop Idiom Rush in a way. And I'm going to start pointing them out. Now, one thing I'm going to point is that these custom songs here, these I do not care, as they're just purely for the user to mess around with and not specifically what the game has chosen so first thing i want to point out is the leaderboards so as you can already see the massive scale between scores from top 20. When I first started, top 20 was 13,000 to, of course, the 23,000 mark with Fexarlin with 84, no, he had like something about 60,000. And when Christmas and stuff, you know, coming around, two songs had came out, which was Merry Xmas and Jingle Bells. The biggest problem with these game is Jingle Bells and Merry Xmas. Both of those songs, when you beat the entire cycle and you got all three of your crowns and you're going into the endless mode rounds, they do not have an increment like the rest of the levels. Now, a good level to test skill is actually, you need the fat rat. And this one, it has a big skill gap in terms of the speed, because the speed ramps up pretty fast in short amounts of time. And that's one instance of... Sorry there. Um, but that's one instance of skill in the game that you kind of have to learn. Because, to be perfectly honest, I feel like you can get to like 700 plus. But chances are you're not likely to ever get it. Because, well of course the unintentional deaths because the game's not good with synchronization at times. But also the fact that there's also human limits. Because all these scores here... All these scores were kind of like some sort of limit that I was able to achieve. Now, not all of them are actually my actual limits, as most of the scores that I gained were actually just from a few attempts in total. And I seriously mean that, because Pop House Trap Electro, I actually got 808 within a few attempts. And so far I try, I'm trying to beat that, but I'm, I'm satisfied with the 800. Um, EDM Trap, I want to get 750. Future Sport, I want to get maybe 700, 725. I haven't decided on a number yet for that. And, of course, I still have all these newer songs to try out, because I actually haven't touched the game in quite a bit. But... Pretty much with Merry Xmas and Jingle Bells being in the songs list, they ruin the 
leaderboard for global. Because, to be honest, leaderboards in a game should commemorate those with the highest amount of skill, no matter what it is. And before those two songs came about, and I don't know about Fixer Lean and what songs he had, but before those two songs came about, the the leaderboards was mainly skill. Like, you actually had to be really skillful and had good reaction timing to actually get within the top 20. And I was in 7th place before those two songs hit. And now, when those two songs hit, 24 hours after those two songs had hit, this guy right here just gets an impossible number. This is literally 1 trillion. Well, actually, no, 1 billion, sorry. 1 billion. There's no way you're going to have this much time to value to get a billion. Much less, like, I believe Ivan Kotakov with his 2.5 mil over the 1 billion. Because this 1 billion score has to be cheated. Because there's no way anyone's going to physically play for over a day on one single game that can eventually irritate you after a while. Like, not happening. Everybody else, I can confirm that they should be at least legit. I don't know about Ivan, but his score is more believable than Johnny's. So, the leaderboards have went from mainly being just skill-based to just who can get the highest score in the two songs that are completely endurance-based has no end or physical limitation. Like, 4,217, that's ridiculous. I know I only got 763 in Mary Xmas, but I was pretty much bored after playing Jingle Bells. I, I pretty much was. Like, I cannot stand playing those two levels at all. Like, there has to be a change. There has to be a challenge. Like, time lapse, for instance, Windfall, Unity. Um, what else? Like, here, I'll, I'll just say this. Upbeat Disco, Future Sport, Feel Good Day, EDM Trap, Powerhouse Trap Electro, Release the Beast, Time Lapse by the Fat Rat, Windfall by the Rat Fat, or the Fat Rat, eh, eh, Unity by the Fat Rat, in Brooklyn Heights. All those, you really do have to have some skill for some of these scores. Unity, that one, that is just a testament of your own skill and speed and reaction. So, this type of score is kind of ludicrous. But I want to say this is like top 1% right here for this score. Don't know about the rest. Oh, yeah. Trap Hip Hop. Trap Hip Hop is probably the only... So well, actually, Trap Hip Hop is the only song in the game that does not have the random triggers. And what do I mean by random triggers? I mean, like, the random sequences that you see. Like, just the normal tiles and the trio that you kind of have to pick one spot out of the fakes. Th this level does not have any of that. It's just pure random platform placement. There's no moving platforms going left and right. None of that. But it does kind of give you a bit of skill with that too. So I might include that in. Now Lucky 1001 too. I'm actually proud of that. Because this was a pain in the ass. It really was. Motivation Rock. That was just a bit different but still kind of a different concept. So with this game... I've noticed that there is a pattern to your platforms. Every 30 tiles that you've hit, the platforms switch into a different set sequence. 
it goes from the normal randomized platforms mixing in some left and right moving ones if you're past the endless mode of course and then it switches to the easy choose one of the three tiles that is real out of the fakes and then it switches back it's a predictable sequence it really is it's really predictable and to be honest i wouldn't have minded if there's probably some more randomness to it but that would make some of the other scores a bit more bullshit to attain because like you need the fat rat for instance if this was completely random this score would kind of be bullshit to attain because of the amount of rng that you would need later on especially the fact that with the moving left and right platforms they pretty much are random within themselves so you can either get lucky and not have them or just have a ton back to back while you're going really fast ultimately killing your run because that's what really kills you is if you get those moving platforms kind of immediately after reviving or you get them back to back on a fast speed so it's not good there but it does ease off the limitations and actually separate the skill levels at least in my opinion it does But with some of these issues, especially with the leaderboards now being changed up to where skill is pretty much no longer a factor anymore, and it's just play the two levels that give you the highest scores ever, it's pretty much impossible to determine who actually played for scores and is actually skilled compared to only just playing two levels and just being in top 20 for free. Because, literally, if you're good at endurance, but you're not good at speed, then Jingle Bells and Mary Xmas are going to be your two go-tos. Because it's it's a simple one and done, and you're already up here. And my score just updated to number 8. I just noticed that. But, yeah. The skill level is now ruined. Because you don't have skill anymore. You just have either a mix of skill or those who just only did endurance. This game needs to be more skill oriented with the leaderboards or else where's the competition? Because your only competition would be the endurances. There's just the only two songs in the game that allow this. But it's also bad if you have songs that have no incrementations. Because if there's no incrementations for level, then where is the scale factor? It's all endurance. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you make a video saying you got over 200,000 score in Jingle Bells or Merry Xmas. That's no skill. Anyone can do that. The only thing that would be believable is if you say, hey, I got a 962 on trap hip hop that would be considered a skillful skillful record as opposed to an endurance record that literally is just a waste of your time and has no purpose in your skill at all other than just how long can you just sit there hitting tiles on the same pace no matter how many song cycles you go through. Unity the Fat Rat. That one. Heavy skill. Like. No doubt. This is probably one of the most skill based levels in the entire game. So. If you can get a good score like I did. Like a 622 Unity. Then. Chances are you should be able to. Get just about every single one of my other scores. Or above. Or a bit below, depending on how good you are. And consider your skill there. Not this easy endurance crap that literally means nothing. It really means nothing with endurance levels. Levels that require skill is all that matters. That's why eventually once I start making a scoreboard for myself and maybe make a discord for this game 
I'm going to have a public leaderboard in a chat room in one of the chats that I'll create. And what I'm going to do is make sure you give me proof of all your scores in total. And they have to be possible because, again, there's human limits. You cannot go above human limits. So if you have a score, like someone commented saying they got a thousand on Unity, nah, there's no way. Because with this game, and of course with the unintentional deaths, you're going to bound to die anyways before you even get close to a thousand. Yes, like 622, that's like 62% of the way there, but that's not close enough. Close enough would be like, oh, if you're like, 956 somewhere around there that would be close other than that no so what i propose to do once if i eventually make a discord for tiles hop edm rush specifically is i want all the scores you give me and whatever score you got on jingle bells and merry xmas will not be counted and custom levels do not count either. Because these are just purely for user benefit only to yourself. So if you know a way to download songs and put them into this game, then those are just your custom levels. Those levels don't really matter. It's pretty much all these custom levels that you can choose your own song for. They're practically the same beat. It's just that it depends on what length of the song you have that determines the outcome of your scores anyways. So, for that matter, those won't be counted either. Trap Hip Hop is going to be the only exception I will count. Because although it's the only unique level in the game that does have an increment but does not have random tile sequencing like it usually does for all the other levels... That's going to stay. Because that is skill too. Hence why I have a 1001. I try hardest for that. And. Trust me. It's not fun. It's it's not fun trying to try hard. For certain records. That you know you should have gotten already. But it's the irritating. Ways of your reaction timing. And speed. Failing you sometimes. Especially with moving platforms in this game. It's not fun going for specific scores. Unity the Fat Rat is the main instance of that. Which I know I can still improve, but at this point, it's not really worth my time at the moment. So, yeah, just counting all the scores that are in the official novels, which are all in the orange... Minus the Jingle Bells and Merry Xmas levels. And I'll try all the other songs as well. And get scores on there in the future. But right now I don't feel like playing this. But just to give you an idea that this game does have its flaws. And Leaderboards is one. Levels with no increments, which completely tarnishes the leaderboard, again, on skill over endurance in speed and reaction timing. And plus, like, what you can really achieve. Because, let's be honest, playing Jingle Bells and Merry Xmas do not really help with their skill. Like, the only way you're really going to get good at this game is if you try all the other levels out that actually have speed increments to them. Because if you don't, then how are you going to tell people that you're in a top 20 in a game, but you're not so good with your speed in reaction timing as those who well-deserved their efforts and achievements and actually got there with... A lot of hard work that they had to put in just to even sit within that top 20. 
because that pretty much tarnishes the professional skills that other players might not have, but yet they got up there undeservingly. Like, I get it. Some people just do this for fun and do this casually and found out that those two levels are super easy. But try other levels, man. Like, it's a lot more fun playing this game and actually having to deal with having to go really fast and having to react really fast and having that mixed anxiety of you feel like you want to panic half the time when you're going super fast just to get a really good score that you just want. That right there, that's the motivational kick that you need to be one of the best players. Because if you don't experience that, then how are you going to know you're good at the game? Like, hell, when I did Unity and got that 622, I was panicking a lot near the end. Because I knew I made it to the round that I died on only two other occasions. But was able to beat my previous record. Not by much, but it really made me happy that I could get a really insane score. And if you really don't, like, try and do that, do all that work, just to try and get a really insane score that people will say, hey, you're really good, then where, then where's the balance between skill? Because then it's not there. Like, this is just me giving my own critique, but, like, for those of you that have similar views on this, and understand the same points that I have for some parts of this, then, like, yeah, like, you understand me. Like, games that require skill need to stay in skill. They can't just freelance the top spots for those who are way under your leagues, for those who put the time and effort and worked up for those achievements only to realize there's people who took the easier route and aren't even as good and that's why they tend to get shot down in certain communities because this is the issue between the balances of skill and the leaderboard rankings like top 20 in this game like I said previously is meant for the best of the best. And yeah, it can be a constant war if you have multiple people fighting for that top spot. I get that. But if there's just that easy way out into it, then what's the point of actually playing this? Because then it's just pointless. Because it would make all your hard-earned achievement worked for look like nothing. And that's kind of sad. Like, I had a lot of fun competing to get into top 20. And trying to get the highest score I can ever get. Possible, at least. But now it's like my score is just insignificant. And that kind of kills everything. It kills the mood. It kills the vibe. And it really doesn't make it worth the play anymore. It's a bit disappointing. But maybe somehow in the future that all gets changed, although I doubt it will, then maybe there will be some hope. But the only other way I can see it is Making an actual official leaderboard, subtracting the two levels that give score for free along with the custom levels, and just make a leaderboard based around all the official levels, see who's the best in each one, and of course, overall in score. 
That's the only way I can see how you can fix these leaderboards. Just my own view of it. But I think I've conveyed a lot of points and said quite enough. So whether or not you agree with me is totally up to you. I know I kind of ranted for quite a while, but to be honest, some of it is really kind of the truth of just how this game is. Like, I do like this game. It was fun when I first got it. Like, the fact that in the first three days, I managed to get into the top ten and be one of the best players in the world already was insane. Like, you, you don't see prodigies like this come out the blue this easily. Like, yeah, on one end, it's suspicious. But on the other, you kind of have to consider, like, what are the previous knowledge and skill that they had in other games that allowed them to achieve such a record? And that's where it is kind of with me. Because I came off from another game that was really skill-based for the top players. And taking that previous knowledge, along with the fact that I also needed a lot of reaction timing for that game as well, along with this one, it made it easy to get a lot of these scores within just a few attempts. Because to be honest, some of these levels I haven't even played again since I first touched them. But yet, it would come off as if I tryharded them previously, but yet, I only did it once or twice, maybe three or four times. It's interesting what you can figure out in a person. And what kind of limits you can achieve. Because anything is possible with these scores. Like, any score can be beaten. Very rarely will you ever see a score that won't. But, overall, besides all the issues, it's a pretty fun game. And it does really kill the time, too. So, if you want to try this game out, or you already am, and you now understand that there's issues with this game that really make it kind of demotivating to compete with the top players, then at least you understand that this is my own concern with the game itself. Like, again, it's my critique. You know, on one end, I do like the game and all that stuff. But on the other end, there's flaws with the skill and how the leaderboards are arranged. Like, if those issue issues were to be fixed, and honestly, if there was leaderboards for every single song specifically, we could see who really is the best. Because to be honest, all you can see is your own score. And the total score between everyone else. But you don't see the individual score for all the official levels for every player. And, you know, I think that's one thing that they could have implemented to show that, hey, although you got these endurance levels, which are completely pointless, why not have leaderboards for every single track in the game that you can play and see... Who really tops each level? Like, this would greatly improve all the issues that I have to point out. And it really would make this game better. And a lot more enjoyable and fun. Because now there's a competition, and now there's a reason to try hard. And try and get some of the guests get one of the good scores that you probably like on one of your favorite levels and want to achieve. Because you need those... You need to set 
milestones for yourself for a specific score. If you know you can achieve it, go for it. Like, don't wait out. Just go for it. And because I'm using a screen capture for my Android device, for those of you that claim in comments for what score you actually got, why don't you yourselves download a screen capture for free on iOS or Android and record yourself getting to that score? Because, to be honest, my 622 Unity the Fat Rat is technically still world record. No matter how many times you say your score is better than mine. Because if it's not officially there, then how are we going to credit... Like, how are we going to make sure that whatever you say is actually credible without the proof? Hence why my 622 is video proof. Because it's the highest score I got on YouTube currently. You need the fat rat in this game... 622 is technically the highest YouTube record there is out there. No one else has been able to top this yet because no one's been uploading a video of them beating my score. If you do, great. If not, keep going. There's still a lot more in this game. You just have to find where. Because it's all up to you. So, to those of you... Want to try and achieve top spot like I am skillfully? Go for it. And if you beat some of my scores, then good. Because then at least, you know, it shows that you are really good at the game along with me. I don't mind those being around the same skill area as me and a bit higher because, yeah, I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst either. I can be decent and pro, but I'm not fully the elite. That's up for you to decide. And if there comes a day that there is a Discord server for Tiles Hop EDM Rush for the pro professionals, then chances are I'll probably be in there. Who, who knows? There's many possibilities, but... Keep trying. You'll get there. And if you want to beat some of my good scores, go for it. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. And keep hopping.